Hello, Dr. Eric Klinzinski here, Fan went Back Relief Center, offering convenient, affordable chiropractic care. Today we're going to talk about osteoarthritis and the shoulder. Osteoarthritis is the most common form of arthritis, uh, and what happens is the smooth cartilage surfaces of the moving joints start to wear away, and it becomes, when it gets real bad, a bone-on-bone -bone situation. It can lack mobility, uh, obviously cause pain, uh, but it most commonly affects the joints that are under load like your hips and your knees. Those are the most common joints that tend to need replacements. But it can happen in the shoulder, spine, any moving joint as well. The reason why the cartilage becomes deteriorated is because it doesn't have a direct blood supply. It actually relies on a process called diffusion where nutrients are absorbed into the cartilage and when it's compressed by movement. To, what we do in our office for arthritis of the shoulder uh, varies. Sometimes manipulation is useful, sometimes mobilization, sometimes stretching, sometimes exercise. They all have a major role in decreasing pain, improving mobility, and slowing down the process of degeneration or osteoarthritis occurring. Chiropractic care in itself is very useful, but there's also other things that we, some tips I can give you for helping to reduce osteoarthritis in the shoulder. Number one, the most important one in my opinion is staying active. Uh, it could be playing sports, it could be uh, weightlifting, it could be stretching, exercising, mobilizing, but you wanna move the joint, you wanna move the arm, the shoulder, the neck, all that stuff's very important. So just living a very active life will be very, very useful in helping to prevent any arthritis of the shoulder. The second thing is eating a healthy diet. Uh, foods that reduce inflammation, uh, omega-3 fatty acids are very useful, um, ginger, uh, turmeric, uh, basuela, those things are very good for inflammation uh, in the joint space. Also reducing the, thing, the amount of loading on the joint, um, carrying excess weight on your body, can more fat around the tissue, uh, around the shoulder will cause osteoarthritis to get worse over time. Sleep. Um, not getting enough rest and recovery, either from your workouts, from your work, your personal life, whatever, uh, does show to have uh, advancement of the degeneration of the osteoarthritis. Uh, consider using, if you do are doing something strenuous, uh, weightlifting, uh, a job that requires you to use your arms and your shoulders a lot, uh, make sure you're putting ice on afterwards, 15 to 20 minutes, and also heat or hot showers to help bring blood to the area. Uh, and then lastly, there's supplements out there. Some of them have mixed reviews, mixed research, but I know glucosamine has been useful. Chondroitin are, are two of the most popular ones for helping to um, minimize the, any occurrence of arthritis in the body, not just in the shoulder. Uh, generally, patients in our office have great outcomes with sh uh, shoulder osteoarthritis and reducing the pain and improving the range of motion. Of course, if you're not responding to the treatment, we refer you to the appropriate doctor, appropriate testing to make sure you get the, the treatment you need. Uh, that's all we got today. If you have any questions about osteoarthritis of the shoulder, uh, you'd like to know specifically about your case, shoot me a message. I'm here to help you. Give us a call, set up an appointment, uh, do whatever you'd like to take care of it. Uh, bottom line is don't wait until it gets worse over time because then it becomes to the point where um, you know, conservative conventional treatment is no longer useful and then you're going down the route of injections or even surgery. Uh, again, any questions, shoot me a message. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time.